I'm out of attacks. I don't know how I feel about that. I like it. That's what I'm talking about. Minion in, what's up everybody? I'm playing Battle Chasers Night War, as you can see, for Xbox Rewards. I'm supposed to get 75,000 experience points this week. And, uh, I don't know, I don't know anything about this game. So, prepare to see me be surprised. I don't know if this is an RPG, I don't know if this is like a... Diablo-esque top-down fighter game. I don't know if it's like a Street Fighter type game. I know nothing. I'm going into this completely blind, as as I usually do, it turns out. Oh, here we go. I love the art style. Also left behind was his daughter, Gully. She discovered her father's gauntlets. Gully, by the way, is German for manhole cover. Would make her a target of great importance and bring her no, just manhole. It's my bad. Her name is Manhole, just so you guys know. The wise and mighty wizard, whose tongue was as sharp as his wits. His mysterious companion, Calabretto, a war golem of immense power. Are these the playable characters? A swordsman, once <clears throat> brother in arms to Aramis, now sworn to protect his only living kin. And the rogue, Red Monica, who can be foe as quickly as friend. Together, they have traveled the capital lands while defending Gully from those who seek the power of her gauntlets for themselves. Nolan, I'm guessing I'm the carrier of the gauntlets. The world's magic and technology has led the group toward the mysterious landmass known as the Crescent Island. There, vast reserves of mana were once rumored to exist. As they approach the island, they quickly discover why so little is known about the area. That's a lot of background and a very short time span. I wonder how relevant the uh, the actual backstory will be. And if I want to continue this after 75,000 XP. I don't want to skip. It's over, right? There we go. I made this frame to play Bleeding Edge and it turned out I didn't have to. But I still might. <clears throat> I know that voice. No, oh, typical. We're being boarded. I bet he used to have to do magic in the snow uphill barefoot. Manhole, hide. More incoming, port side. Oh no. Gully, what? I don't think that you do. Oh, you might. Okay. And where did that take them? Ha! She's gone. Figures. Okay, so they just landed safely on the... Okay, it looks, it looks Diablo-esque. <clears throat> the beast master okay okay so it's
I feel like that should, I've been playing Bless Unleashed so much, I feel like that should ignite just because I walk up to it. All right, what can we do? We can move. We can punch the ground. We can't jump. And we can open the party window to check our equipment. So that is, this is my only attack. Punching the ground. What if I want to punch something that's coming towards me? What if I want to punch something that's not on the ground? <clears throat> Debris. Debris. This level's very wet. Hey, we know that guy. You're awake. Bretto. That's... I love these names. Oh, Calibretto. I, okay. It's a nickname. Na 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 na. We fell through a portal we opened. Placing us on the ground with only minor injuries. Then what happened, Kane? We don't know. And Garrison? I guess that's quest number one. Garrison fell through the portal as well. Monica appears to be missing, along with Neely. Then let's get moving. They could be hurt. Garrison already went ahead to search for them. Of course he did. Yes, let's go. Where is he, Jeff? We don't have any time to waste. I'll be fine. First, allow me to further heal your wounds. Hmm. He's a healer mech. Calibretto has joined the party. Okay, and I can switch. Thank you. I've discovered. I figured that out already. Try swapping to him and heal your party. Ha! Did I do it? Did I heal the party? There we go. Oh, it's like a little flamey bird. Okay, so she can do this. Twice. And then she's out. And he can do this four times. So now I'm out of attacks. I don't know how I feel about that. Actually, I think I do know how I feel about that. I don't like it. Maybe the rest, you know, actually being able to beat stuff up comes later. I don't have to jump up anything, that's nice. Ooh, there's a chest! I have to go back! Go back! I can't jump off ledges, of course, because I can't jump. Can I run? Is there a run? Push down L3, nothing. I'm not going to just let it... I, it's not in my nature. I'm not just going to let a sit, chest sit there. I'm not just going to let a chest sit there. All alone with no one to open it! I'm stuck in the water! Let me out! Okay, you got a couple of collider issues. Nothing major. Animation looks really smooth. Integration of the character into the world looks really smooth. Well done. What is... Ew. It's Planet Snot. Oh, we've got um, instanced combat. It's Bretto and Manhole versus Glarble. Okay, there's, uh, there's my attacks. Alright. Gut Punch, Defensive Matrix. We're going to go with Gut Punch. On him. Yes! Ooh, I like that. God, those gloves are big. And it's a good thing they are. You imagine having like an itch on your nose with those gloves? I'm getting antsy just thinking about it. Maybe just wear it on one hand so you can punch people with one hand, scratch your nose with the other. Or you know, anything. Operate your phone, put stuff in your pocket. That's not happening with those things on manhole. I do 
don't know why I just took the long way. I dig her cape. Oh, it's got a hood, so I guess it's a cloak instead of a cape. But the cloak wraps around you, and that thing does not, so... It's a hooded cape? I wonder how long it's going to take to get 75,000 XP. Garrison went northeast. So let's head in that direction. I'm sure they're fine, but we should hurry just in case. Acknowledged. Exterminate! Ooh! That's a cool looking spider. Nice. And I got an achievement! I have achieved something. I've been playing Knights of Pen and Paper, where um, if there's only one opponent, you don't have to target that opponent. It does it automatically. And I think that should be a feature in all turn-based combat games. Speaking of turn-based combat games, I'm going to be playing Dead Age 2 before it comes out. So keep an eye out for that video. I will, if I remember, put a card up right there so that you can click it and see it when the time comes. Chest! Go this way. Inspect? I'll inspect that when I get back there. A tunic. Okay, so maybe... Traveling garb. And the tunic gives me less attack power, ugh, but much higher defense and stamina and magic defense. Urgh. Tough one. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with I'm gonna stick with extra damage for right now. Let's inspect the crossroads. Worn letters on the top of the sign read Talon Crossing. The plank pointing east says High Lake Village. With message: Not anymore. Carved cryptically into the wood directly over it. The rest is damage beyond leaveability. Readability, not leaveability. But we'll go around, because there's stuff to fight. There be spiders and weird skull bats in them our woods. Oh, and another booger. Now I feel like I might sh maybe should have gone with the defensive armor gear. Armor gear! Take him out, manhole. You got this. You don't got this. Really well animated, I like this. Let's try this again. We're just batting it around. Well, it must be solid enough to be punched. I would have figured her fist just kind of like descends into the slime. It does look rather, rather vascous. Vasquous. Is that the word? I don't know. Vascious? I, I shouldn't be using that word. I don't know how to pronounce it or what it means for sure. <laughs> okay, so how do I get him back up? Have I got items? Nothing that... No phoenix down. There we go. That's how you get it done. You get a manhole. You save the day. Get your giant useless combat droid back on its feet. Almost got it. Boom! Suck it, spider. Yeah, get back up, Reddo. Big ol' hunk of garbage. It's nice that he went down and still gets XP. <clears throat> oh, take all loot. Ha! Uh, I can't switch characters now to, uh, to heal. So hopefully... I guess there must be crafting if I'm picking up all these obvious crafting materials. Uh-huh. You said that after you had your giant mechanical ass handed to you in the last fight. Maybe keep the bravado to yourself.
Unless you're gonna hit him harder. He's only got seven HP. We'll go ahead and use a healing item on him. Ta-da! You know, you can heal yourself. Why can't you do it in combat? Outside of combat, he's just like, let me heal you with my fiery bird of healingness. And inside of combat, he's like, I don't know what to do. This shit hurts. That must be Garrison, which is an odd name for a dude. What he did during the Ultra Battle, shielding the Cannon Brother. How come he gets a voice actor and Manhole and Bredo don't? You would have done the same for me. Oh, now she does. Maybe, but it can't be a result. You're brave for it, but remember that. You don't he might be the reason why I thought this was a Street Fighter type game. He looks a whole lot like like Ryu. Only in, you know, Warcraft type armor. I. Saved us. He should have saved himself. And none of us do. You're probably right. Let's go find him. Let's do it. So all three of us are together now. That's nice. A handwritten journal entry, which I don't care to read. It's rude to read someone else's diary. More bats. I guess I'm just gonna just like grind all these areas for the 75,000 XP. How do I heal in between? That's what I'd like to know. Abilities. Ah, uh, okay, good to know. Good to know. Good to know. Should have thought about that earlier. Maybe he can heal inside combat and he's not totally useless. Overcharge. Oh, limit breaks. Displayed in red next to your mana bar. It's generated by using regular actions. Overcharge is consumed in place of mana and used for bonus effects in certain abilities. Gotcha. So he's on overcharge. And I didn't use I didn't use an ability with him though. Remember to build up temporary energy during combat. We know, Garrison. Thanks, Dad. He's a very grim sort of dude, isn't he? What's this? Spiders? We got spiders! Well, we don't. We have spider. Let's check out all their abilities. What's... Ooh. I guess cleave hits multiple targets. Nope. Yep. Deals damage to a target and a nearby enemy. Deals damage and increases haste for all party members. Hell yeah. Um, is that an ability that has to charge first? I guess he's charging. What have we got? Obliterate. 22 damage over 4 hits. Nice. Well, your charged ability may not be necessary there, Garrison. Robot charges faster than you. We're done here. You did nothing. You sat there and thought about what you were going to do this whole time. Garrison. Well, inspect, inspect. There's something in the... <sighs> There's something in the river there. You see that? I don't know if that's water or like a fin. North is Harm's Way, South Wilderness. Well, I feel like going towards Harm's Way is not... Oh, fine. We're going to Harm's Way. Head there before exploring further. Bretto is right. Alright. Fine. This must be the village! Where are your voice actors? At least be consistent. 
Let's bang on a few doors. That's very forward of him. Oh, knock on doors. I thought he was propositioning her. The heavy iron door, radiant furnace, and proliferation of metalworking tools strewn about tells you this must be a smith's shop. Pull the massive doors open. Oh, voice actors are back. Hey. Hey. Why does the dwarves always have a Scottish accent? Are all dwarves Scottish? I suppose we're gonna learn quickly. Hey, Jim got great thick to survive in a forsaken land like this one. Oh, if it says island voice actor, you misread. My favorite misread was Knights of the Old, uh, was uh, uh, Star Wars: The Old Republic, where the um, the the soldier character can't pronounce Ilum properly. He says he calls it Loom. I'm guessing because the capital I looks like a lowercase l, if you don't know what you're talking about. Trooper, that's the character class. As we approached, pirates ambushed us. Don't frighten off. They're not quite pirates, as you say. Bandits. Simple as that. Just thugs full of hearts. What is he looking at? At least Garrison is looking at the dwarf. But the dwarf is, okay, he's actually shorter, so he's looking up to talk to Garrison. So this is a perspective issue. It just looks like he's staring at the ceiling. Well, being bandits, they sell mostly. But hey, what's the difference with that? Less scatterbrain, more focus. They have a new leader. Has a few of us left a bit worried. We were separated from some friends during the battle. We think they may have them, or know where they are. We'd like to chat with them. Huh, to chat. A few weaklings came by causing trouble last dawn. Chased them off down the south road. See, I said going down the south road was a good idea. It frightened our friends. If we don't, they'll regret it. Keep your head up. You must have a caftan or something. Yeah. If we had just listened to me, I just realized he's got a mechanical hand. What is it with... What is it with everybody and their hands in this game? Do I want to chat with Grimbeard? I thought I just did. Yep, I'm still here. Never mind. What else we got? All kinds of buildings to explore. But we're not here to explore. Curio shop. We're here for 75,000 XP. The collector. I don't care about any of this stuff. I should. Because this game, I like this game. This is neat. The Altered Bestiary. Well, I loved Altered Beast. That game was awesome, so I obviously have to check this out. We have fresh band of adventures loose here in the Vale. Experienced ones, no less. We've seen our share of battles, and you, Varg Lady, with less hair, I guess. Let's just say my foe are the wilder kind. The name's Raha, Beastmaster Raha, as I see it, the only worth fighting, only foes worth fighting are the untamed kind, and lucky you, the island is littered with them. So I've seen. Ha ha ha. How's that funny? The slimes and bats in the woods around town? No, in for worse than that. We're here looking for the lost friends, not hunting trophies. Indeed, many get lost on the island. Rescue mission or not, you could use some basic advice to survive here. Oh my god. Yeah, thank you. Good advice. I don't know what I would do without it. <laughs> Let's go find the South Road Bandit Camp. What do you? How do, what do you say to that? Everyone's got their health back, so maybe going into town was like an automatic rest type deal. What else can we do? Consumes up to forty overcharge. Dealing 44 damage and adding... Wow. Well, he doesn't really have much overcharge, but we're doing it anyway. Oh, of course it has to be charged. If he had just hit it normally, this fight would be over. Ooh. Yeah. Rah, rah. I like how birds land on him for his victory pose. That's pretty cool.
Don't make me enjoy this. Yeah, dude, nobody's forcing you. I like how um, this is not actually common in, uh, in, in these turn-based games. I like how when it's the character's turn, they take on a more action-ready pose to help signal that it's, that's, you know, they're good to go. So he takes down a sword, he's ready. That's a nice touch. Seems like this is all about the details. I see a treasure chest. Just have no idea how to get to it. How would we? Can I move the? Ah, yes, I can. But not very far. There's a bridge down there and a gate there. Okay, I guess I'm not not going through there yet. I don't think I'll be able to open the gate. And I love how every enemy has an entrance animation. They don't just appear. They you know they actually come in. They show up. I've, I've been wanting to try scatter shot. And what else we got? Cleave! Okay. Not what I was expecting. Gut punch. Take him out. That is just... It looks painful. It looks like that attack hurts more than anything else any, that, that my party can do. You imagine? Just, I mean, this his fist is like this big. South Road could be up. I think we're on the right track. There should be an auto attack feature though. Just to save me from spamming A on these short fights. Oh, I had the option to skip the... Uh... Well, we're going to fight the bat first, obviously. I need the XP. How did this game zip by me? I like it. Oh, we're doing another scatter shot, obviously. What can he do? Does he have. He's got healing wave. Hmm. No. No AoEs. We're just gonna punch a bat. Alright, you two go. It's your turn. Oh, it only hit one bat? It should hit all three. Really. There's a reason I picked the center bad uh, center baddie. Get back in there. Take out the snot. Yes! One more. Come on, Garrison, you got this. You get get it done. No, it wasn't. But it's nice that you're so cocky, manhole. Hey, buddy. All right, let's check out this. I want to check out this gate. Can we open it? Approach the door. Ooh, things are happening. Stuff is afoot. Okay. She's still out of punch attacks that I used up earlier. That's tragic. This gate is pretty big. What are they trying to keep out? Or in? We're going to run up to it anyway. Okay, we need something that interacts with 
Whatever this thing is. What can he do? What's his special ability? S like, zip forward. He's a zipper. I like that you can see them behind stuff. That blue frame thing. We did that in Grotesque Tactics. Very helpful in games where you can't actually turn the camera. Well, what do we got here? Some money in a barrel. I just picked up nine, and you want me to throw in a hundred? Luck to those who give enough. Fine, throw in a hundred gold. See what happens. From deep down of below, a voice bellows at you. Coins down a well? Seriously? Do you believe in fairy tales too? If you really want to give me something meaningful, try upping the ante. Well, I don't have 500 gold to throw down. I'm broke now. Thank you. Five gold. Honestly. Well, I guess we're done here. Oop, stairs. Alright, let's go check out the village. Yes, leave the area. I'm out of here. Also, dude, you can't keep sleeping on my green screen. There's a hair all over it. Okay? I love you. Go lay down somewhere else. Village time! There's a strange campsite just off the road. Well, investigated, of course. It's got a giant exclamation mark over it. How more obvious do you need? Barricades in the middle of a forest? <sighs> oh, crap. Someone is here. Yes, we should proceed with caution. Someone's left the kettle on. Neat. And they've left money laying around. The camp looks like someone was here recently. The smell is certainly fresh. The bandit Grimbeard drove off. Ambush! Damn you. Where did they come from? Where were you hiding? Oh, you're invisible. And I gotta fight the tea kettle too, apparently. You like to mind your own business. We'll take our chances. I can't actually attack the invisible guy. Just the tea kettle. Uh, and of course it hurts to punch that thing. Why am I not surprised? We're gonna go with nature's bean. Maybe he becomes visible after we beat the tea kettle? Ow! Hold LT to get more info about buffs and debuffs in combat. Eh. Oh! Dude, that hurt! What just... Oh, she's poisoned. You know... Oh, you're gonna be healing. Yourself. You're in a bad way, dude. How did that damage her? It was obviously a ranged attack. Ah, oh, painful. No, come on. He's alive. You can do the whirly bird thing. I hate that that hurts. I mean, I get it. 
What else we got? We've already got haste. Now we're gonna cleave. That's how that's done. Now we're gonna go with the... Uh... Is healer's boon still happening? No. That did not last long at all. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh! God, he's almost dead again. We gotta take out that tea kettle. Yes! Thank you. I hope Garrison knows to switch targets. He does. Very nice. Let's not take that for granted either. Remember the days when uh, turn-based combat games did not know to switch targets if the target you initially told them to hit died before they got around to it? Whew! Unlock Wildfire, Barrier Swing, and Rage Wave. Sure. This letter he was carrying has a seal. It must be important. What does it say? Hard to tell. It half smeared in blood. It does say outsiders. Also, references and outposts. The smith in town may know what that means. Ah, oh, I gotta go back to Scottish Dwarf. Find the bandit messenger. Yep, we did that already. And there's a chest. With new gear. Okay, we're going to start putting on new gear. She's got some other heavy hitters, so it's okay, I think, to put on the defensive armor. Does it change her appearance at all? No, of course not. That's a little disappointing. What about him? We got new stuff? We do. A better cannon hand. Higher damage, lower defense. Why, though? He doesn't need to do higher damage. He just got half beaten to death twice. And he gets more everything. A new blade that does less damage, but causes bleeding. Uh, nope, don't like it. Less attack power, more defense, I guess. Don't know if I'm okay with that. Oh, and here we have all these other all these other tabs of stuff that we can see and do and I really just want the XP. Let me just see how far I've gotten. A fifteen thousand experience. We're halfway there. Okay, so it's actually 15,000 experience I'm supposed to get, and I'm halfway there. I've got 75k. That's like exactly the halfway mark. This is the kind of game where, like, back in the day when I had more free time, and I, I mean, I don't get to play casually as much anymore as I would like now that I'm an adult with responsibilities. But, um, this is the kind of game that I would have, I, I would just sit and play the hell out of for, you know, however long it took. Enjoy that while you can, guys. I don't think I've finished a game in years. That is a fin, not a wave. That's a sea monster! Yeah, let's chat anyway. While you stare at the ceiling. You hand the bloodied letter over. Ink looks fresh. Outsiders arriving on the island. Likely to uh, complicate things. Outsiders? Does that mean us? 
Keep them in that fresh. Instead of just giving us vague references to the letter, why don't you just read it to us? Oh, he's just giving us the key. Nice. And of course he wants to sell us some stuff. Well, how about some gear that doesn't lower my attack? That would be... That would be fantastic. I have no money. I threw it all in a... I threw it all into a well, Grimbeard. Grimbeard, I threw all my money in a well. Because I'm stupid. Yeah, sell it. Letter opener, really? Wait a minute. The bonus damage goes down, but actual damage goes up. Okay, that's confusing. No, no, no. No! Why won't you let me leave your stupid store? <laughs> Fine, we'll equip the serrated blade. Okay, it does do 12 more damage and less bonus damage, so I'm... I don't get it. Yep, I'm here to sell you my old sword. I can't sell you my old sword? Really? Why? Get rid of that. Yep. These are worth next to nothing. They're absolutely worthless. I don't know about all this crafting stuff. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about it. Right now I'm fine. Yep, and I'm also broke because, you know, the whole well incident. A hundred gold. You don't throw a hundred coins into a well. You throw one. You go, bim! And then you make a wish. I wish this birthday cake wasn't lemon. Approach the door. Okay, now we should be able to open it, right? Is that, one, is that the one he gave me the key to? I don't even know. There are several closed gates. Let's get it. This looks promising. Like I said, this door isn't budging. Yet. Hmm. Oh, come on. That's not the gate we got the key to? Well, yes. Leave the area. Let's just find more stuff to beat up. Find some more bats and spiders and kick them in the nits. Right, okay. So which gate? I see an exclamation mark. An exclamation moik, you guys! There has to be a run option. So how do I get up there? Hmm? What? Well, now I'm lost. And why would I be able to... Devil's Eye Lake. Yeah, no thanks. I guess we're going through the village. Check gate. Use the northern gate key. That was the one, that was it. More stuff to craft with, which I will never use. Because I won't be here that long. But, 
This game is excellent. They've did, they've done everything right as far as I can tell, except for you know not enough voice acting. Voice acting is important, you guys. And I know sometimes you, I mean you don't always get to do it. We had voice acting for Grotesque Tactics 2, and it made the game so much better. And then we were denied funding for Grotesque Tactics 3, Holy Avatar vs. Maidens of the Dead. And not only was that disappointing, because I was so looking forward to working with, with some of those amazing people from Part 2 together again. But also because that kind of thing can make or break a game. I had so many cool jokes lined up for that game that didn't work in text that needed to be voice acted. So I'm convinced to this day that this game had been, would have been much more successful if the publishers hadn't decided they didn't want to pay for voice acting. Which is one of the reasons why I'm not a fan of the publisher-studio relationship. I think games should be self-published and publishers can suck it. The ruins just off the road here. They look military. This must be one of the Iron Outpost's old way stations, which means the outpost is nearby. Should we search it? Doesn't seem like a high priority. May well, maybe not, but I'm searching that. Coast Iron Ore, okay. I'm just, you know, there will be stuff to kill and XP to gain. I feel like I'm going to hit that and it's going to cause electrical damage to myself. Yep. No, it didn't. Alright. I'm not doing any AoEs until Shadow Dude comes out of hiding. But what I will do is defend because he's going to do a lot of damage. Arcane Sick? Did it just magic barf on me? Alright, we've got new skills, but we are the healer, so. Barrier Swing. Deals 24 damage, converting 75% of it into a damage shield. It applies to the most damaged hero. Okay, perfect. And that's one bot down, and it exploded and hurt the other guy. That's what I like to see. Oh no, he gets the damage shield. He didn't need it anymore. Hits all enemies. Okay, good to know for future... Future encounters. Ooh. He's a zerker. Take him out. Really nice attack animations. I see a chest that I have to go get. Forest loop. Okay, it's a ring that one of us can put on. What's it do? Bonus damage and haste. Thank you very kindly. Eh, bad guys in a dead end. Ooh, not seen one of those before. We're going Rage Wave this time. I gotta try this skill out. Nature's Boon, of course. And we're going. Scatter shot. You know, I realize they have plenty of mana. I can use more skills. I don't have to be so stingy with it.
I like it. That's what I'm talking about. He's so cocky. I don't like Garrison. Garrison's a wad. Didn't even break a sweat. <laughs> Spiders. I love that there's, you know, you can like go around, go the long way, get some more XP, do some grinding. Uh, what is the wildfire? Random targets, eight shots. Gotcha. Ooh. All right, wildfire it to death. Go get it, Bretto. Bow, 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 bow. Boot it up, boot it up, boot it up. Bow, 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 bow. Are there skill points I should be spending since they've leveled up a few times? I have no idea. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just here for the XP, baby. Ooh, that guy's cool looking. A gunslinger. Ah. Ouchies. Okay, maybe now Wildfire will actually do something. Oh, he's actually called a Gunslinger, too. Why am I not surprised? Yes, let's see it. Woohoo! He just got out Gunslinged, son. I think we're good with just a regular attacks. We got this. Boom! Oh, that looks like it hurts. We did it! 75,000 XP, uh, 15,000 XP. That is the end of the quest. If you would like to see me continue from this point, if you want to see the inside of the dungeon that um, I am just at the entrance of, etc., etc., uh, like and leave some comments. Let me know what you think, and I will continue this. If not, eh, I won't. I'll move on to something else. Also, uh, keep an eye out for my Dead Age 2 video. I'm really excited about showcasing that game, and you'll get to see it here first before anybody else so um that is amazing i'll see you guys next time minion out